Hey guys, CJ here, and this is a doozy. Uh, as excited as I was after the Karen Page reveal, and over the last couple days, this has kind of grounded me. I was actually, you know, I have a lot of faith in Batman vs. Superman still. I think it could be a good movie, but on the heels of this news, I've lost a lot of faith in DC Comics and Warner Brothers specifically. Um, you know how we in the comic book community like to joke about you know, how DC Comics movies typically tend to be more serious, and they don't really have jokes at all. Just come out and say it. Well, no joke. They've said no jokes. Uh, you know, all puns aside, this comes straight from Drew McWeeny of HitFix, so it's not like someone from Latina Review or, you know, Badass Digest is just coming off the wall and saying something without evidence. And in fact, McWeeny elaborates that this is the fifth time that he's heard this, that Warner Brothers has had a mandate of no jokes for their upcoming DC superhero films. Honestly, it's ridiculous. I mean, I made one take of this recording where I was actually kind of, you know, like, okay, we'll see, but it's, it's stupid. It's so stupid, and it's a slap in the face to essentially the history of comics because if you look at comics they're always campy even or not always campy but they have lot levity they have lightness they're not all super serious i mean if dc comics wants to launch the universe straight out of the mind of frank miller go for it but don't expect to succeed when marvel has shown that you can balance the the levity and the gravitas you can balance the lightness and the darkness you don't have to have all serious all the time you can do jokes but you can include serious dramatic plot elements do you think age of ultron is going to be all laughs no but will it have a couple funny scenes sure honestly i am just fed up with this i am fed up i i'm i'm not gonna lie to you i probably still will see batman versus superman because i think it has the potential to be better than man of steel but if this is the case dc super uh dc comics you know, anybody in charge over there is just adult. They are out of their coconut. They need to get back in their gourd, get some sense, and realize, you know, hey, maybe instead of trying to be completely different than Marvel, we just need to do something, take a page from them, look at their success. They've had a dozen movies in the last six years, and they're vastly more successful than DC in those last six years. It's, it's ridiculous. If this is a reaction to Green Lantern, which McWeeny speculates that it is, you, you're misdiagnosing the problem. It's not that people didn't like it because it was funny. People liked didn't like it because it was terribly written. It was just horrible. And it's 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 so stupid. This is literally trained monkeys would come up with a better superhero like universe than DC is so far. Trained monkeys would realize that it was the writing and not the jokes in Green Lantern. Regardless, I'm editorializing this. The bottom line, the journalistic news story is that DC Comics apparently has a mandate of no jokes in their movies. So, I turn to you in the comments. What do you think? Is this a terrible mistake, as I believe? Or are you okay? Are you deferring judgment? Are you? What are you doing? I'd like to get a good discussion going in the comments because I think we can really, you know, get this out there. Um, and really have a positive, you know, construct dis discussion, and hopefully someone at DC realizes what they're doing. But anyways, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as always. Uh, this is CJ signing off, and I'll see you next time.